I can scan different items? That's a good question, and let me explain to you why. I got myself a new iPhone 14, and my significant other said, hey, why do you need to have two cell phones? And I thought to myself, that's a good question, and let me explain to you why. I could have one cell phone, LiDAR scanning the truck, and the other cell phone recording audio and video of me doing that. So let's go ahead and make that video happen. I'm gonna open up an app called Polycam. So Polycam looks like this. That one right there. And when you take a look at that, you'll see that, hey, I can scan different items. And why is this so cool? I can do the plus sign right here, and we can walk around the truck and LiDAR scan the truck in real time. So let's go ahead and get started doing that. Let's see what that looks like. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to scan the truck because the truck is more or less clean and the LiDAR itself uses light uh, and the light kind of bounces off the truck itself and I wasn't sure if it was actually going to work. So let's go ahead and take a look. Let's see how well it does on the clean truck. I did scan the truck the other day when it was raining outside and I was actually seeing, you know, if, if that would have any impact on scanning or not. It's a bunch of little polygons that come together and ultimately it'll give you a rough three-dimensional representation of what the actual product looks like. LiDAR scanning over the years has really gotten better. Uh, it's pretty amazing that it's actually available on phones these days. I've used other LiDAR scanners that are in the tunes of hundreds of thousands of dollars and they are pretty fast, but still, they're not perfect. I'm really curious to know how long it's gonna take to process this lidar scanning video here so it's not working right now because it's bouncing off the glass and something like that would have to be changed and modified in a CAD software afterwards and basically you have to take these kind of polygons sometimes they're point clouds and you have to take those into a CAD program and it takes hours to kind of stitch them together and recreate the actual item that you're scanning. I've done a lot of reverse engineering over the years with various projects for various clients, and it's a very time consuming process. Sometimes it's actually faster if you're gonna design something to actually design it from scratch versus trying to reverse engineer it. But if you don't know that, you're trying to copy something, sometimes the reverse engineering is the best way to go, but it really just takes time. There are a lot of different tools to do that too. I'm really excited to process and render this, and I will do what I can to see if I can make this available online too. I'm not sure what the file formats are. In the past, I was able to make a, a shelf for inside the gear tunnel, and that was really fun. I was able to take a picture of it, send it over to the graphics artist, and she then took and scaled it to the size that I needed. I printed it, I cut it out, then I made a template. I don't know if I'll really be able to get on top of the truck. It's more of a glass up top there. And again, glass reflects, it's kind of hard to scan. I might end up having to re-scan the truck in smaller sections. I think the processing time will take a lot of time to process. But I'm gonna go ahead and stop that and see how far we were able to get. All right, so it says estimated time for that is five minutes. And check this out, this is pretty cool. You can actually see the path that we took walking around the truck and what it actually picked up. So all those little green, green spots right there, not sure if you're able to see that, but that's the truck itself. So let's go ahead and process it. It takes a bunch of pictures. I, I don't know if it's photogrammetry. I'm not sure exactly how it's doing it and stitching it together, but this software program is pretty awesome. And by the onset, I'm hoping that it really improves because this is not looking super positive. Now I've never spent five minutes walking around doing a LiDAR scan. This is my first time. And that's what it looks like as we go through. Can we zoom in? It's really rough right now, but all these green dots is basically it's a point uh, that it took an image and it's trying to stitch that image together. 
And it's not always the best. Sometimes it kind of overlaps and does what it can, scanning the items and, and putting them together in this stitched image. But overall, we'll see how it comes out. It's about 25, 30% of the way there. When you zoom in and you try to pan around, it really goes pretty quick. It took about five minutes for that render to happen or that process to happen. And when we take a look here, I haven't zoomed in, I haven't panned around at all, but I'm a little sad to see what it looks like. I was hoping for it to be a lot better. Maybe because it was too long of a video or too long of a scan, it really didn't come out very well. I mean, the tires don't look so bad. I think I might give it a try and see what it's like uh, going around it all over again, seeing if I can get a better output. I think it did a little bit better this time. It's a little windy out here, but it was able to process and this is what we're able to see here. I'm not sure if because it was such a large scan that it had a difficult time. You can see as I kind of rotate the image around here, it's not that perfect. It could be a little bit better. But overall, it gives us an idea about the approximation, you know, the size itself. It tried to stitch it together. You can see the top of the, the truck itself, um, not the top of the truck, but the, the truck bed uh, just over the wheel well. That's kind of showing the side and the top. This is almost as if it was a type of a, an AI. You know, there's been a lot of mention about uh, AI, and that's actually almost what this reminds me of, is if this was an AI composed image, but it's not, it's a LiDAR scan. Um, it really didn't bring it together the way I was really hoping to. I think if we were able to extract a point cloud and then take that point cloud and build that into a CAD software, it would probably come out a little bit better. Uh, they do that for a lot of different reverse engineering and even building models too. It doesn't look horrible on the wheels and tires. Kind of gives you a, a good representation. You can still see some of that around here, but you can obviously see the defects. But one of the really cool things is, you know, we could process this with this AR button right here. And then if this happened to be a piece of furniture, then we could take that and, and put that into a different setting, like in, in our living room. Or here, we could actually take this truck, if this happened to be a, another, uh, you know, a really good image, we could take this in and see what it looks like in the garage and does it fit. You could scale that to size. It's, it's quite, a, quite a unique software. I think it has a long way to go, but it's really come a long ways. And I'm probably not using this in its best capacity. Uh, I'm just kind of a newbie learning here, you know, what it looks like. Uh, obviously, if you go underneath, I didn't scan any of that, so it doesn't know what it looks like below there. It only knows the outside surfaces. And clearly, because I did not scan on the top of the truck itself, it again has no idea what the inside is. Now, we can take something like this, we could stitch it together. We could do several scans and stitch those together in a software. Um, that's hours and hours upon hours and more hours of work trying to stitch it all together. But it really comes down to how good a, a scan it was and what type of uh, point cloud, what, what did you put together there? I'm gonna go ahead and give this another try. I'm really interested to get the gear tunnel and see if I could show you what it's like uh, scanning the inside of the gear tunnel. It's a little bit smaller. And so I'm hoping that we might be able to get some better resolution. Uh, so let's give that a try. I'm going to get out of here. Oh, great. Now I got to pay for it. That's the free version. I guess I can start a free trial, get seven days free. Let me see if I can get out of here just for the time being. You know, I was able to scan this kind of chair couch thing in my house. And then, you know, you could see 
it's it's pretty good. Uh, it picks up different colors. Um, and I was able to then take this in a different area of my house, set it down and say, hey, do I like this here? And my, I asked my significant other, hey, do you like this here too? And she said, yeah, let's put that there. So, you know, that's what this is used for. Another thing is, you know, we have a golden retriever and we want to see what our golden retriever looks like. And holding her still, keeping her uh, from moving was the trick on this one. But she is an older dog and we wanted to be able to, you know, have uh, digital pictures and even a LiDAR scan of, of our pet uh, years and years later uh, so we can reflect back in our memories. So that's, you know, one reason we wanted to do that scan. Let's go ahead and see if we can do another scan here and if we can get inside of the gear tunnel. Let's go take a look. You can see kind of what it looks like. You can see the path of which I took to go around the truck. It's going around, coming closer. You can zoom in a little bit. So let's process that. And there it is, let's take a look at it. So again, what we're trying to focus on is that gear tunnel right inside there. Well, I guess I'm not super happy with that. Well, that was pretty fast. Look at the outside of the truck here. It looks really fast, really nice. I have two pieces of tape, painter's tape. One here, you can barely see it, and one here as well. And I have those marked, I think it's 11 or maybe 12 inches, because when I was making my, my shelf, I wanted to show what it looked like here. That's gonna do it for this video. I appreciate you joining me and taking a look what it means to uh, LiDAR scan the Rivian truck. And hopefully I can learn a little bit more and come back to you with some better images. And again, I would really like to come up with something that I could use, some 3D CAD, and then maybe some stuff that we could design and build around. But I will work on that. If I get back to you, awesome. If you get back to me and you have something, let us know. Either way, I appreciate you watching this video. Thank you.